This is Adam Vasquez at the TU Connectivity booth here at Electronica 2012. And I'm here with Steve Jones, the, the head of the Invest Win area around lighting for Intelligent Buildings business. All right, good morning. Thanks for joining us, Steve. Thank you. So what customer design challenges um, drove your development of the new chip on board uh, solderless LED holder? Well, certainly our strategy has been very much focused on the emergence of chip on board technology. As, a, as one way of accelerating the adoption of this market. Uh, early on we identified this was a key growth area and we saw some an op opportunity to aid and enable customers the adoption of that technology. Particularly as the industry has moved from more building blocks in electrical type technology to more uh, components around electronic provides a great opportunity for us to add value to our customers. Great, and talking about the value, what are some of the, the benefits this solution has to offer for those customer challenges? Well, some of the uh, chip on board products are uh, sometimes the contact area is very small and realizing the value of uh, longer life expectancy as well as reliability was absolutely key for, for the LED industry. And what we've done is to try and home in on some of those challenges. How do we enable the adoption of this product, make it easier and make it more reliable for the customer in the end market to adopt the technology? Great, and talking about from the challenges to the benefits, what are some of the application areas you really see this technology excelling at? In terms of application areas, really the, the key couple of growth areas are dense downlight and spotlight. It's the area where chip on board, the density of the light output is ideally suited to that marketplace. And what we're seeing is in markets particularly like retail and commercial buildings, it really ties in. So we're seeing adoption in uh, certainly at the high end hotel level, right the way through commercial buildings, libraries, uh, shopping malls, but particularly at retail where they're looking to highlight particular products, use different color to show and emphasize that. It's the current growth area, but of course that will expand as the market uh, continues to grow. So talking about TE connectivity products, being here at Electronic 2012, what have been some other really exciting uh, breakthroughs you've seen? It's been great for us because it's a great opportunity for us to showcase some of our new products, uh, which you can see on the stand here at uh, the TE. Uh, the other side of the coin has been the, the general excitement around LED technology. If you look at the distributor activities, a lot of our distributors are continuing to show LED market as their key growth area. And also when we've been uh, looking at the stands uh, for some of our uh, partners we have in the LED industry, they're introducing new products, showing new technology. And for us as well, one of the other growth areas is the ecosystem, ensuring that we're not just aligned with the LED, we're aligned with some of the optics companies, and they're showing some great new products as well. Right. So there's a lot of excitement about this industry, which is great while we're here and showing our products. Excellent. Well, thanks for the technology overview and your insights, Steve. Pleasure. Uh, please, please stay tuned for more Electronica 2012 coverage here at TE Connectivity and additional insights. Thanks, everyone.